morning. It's Saturday. I hope your Saturday morning started off better than mine. Just had the police department here. I brought, I'm gonna bring oh, this old girl in for uh, a grease job. Instead, she got vandalized. Pellet got BB or pellet gun right through that, shattered that glass. If you look up here on the windshield, three more off the windshield. So we've got all this glass on the ground. It's not much, but I gotta get that cleaned up. So yeah, that's how my Saturday morning starts off. Now I gotta look up and order a, a windshield. The windshield could be can get by for now, but I definitely knew, do need to have that get that vent window replaced. And if you look right here, this sticker right here is a fuel sticker. We commercial trucks over twenty six thousand pounds by law have to have those. So. I gotta do something, I gotta salvage that sticker for now. Get a new, new glass coming for the, that vent window. And look at the possibly new windshield because those are gonna, those are gonna crack too. So we're looking at almost a thousand dollars in damage. This window here, they want 200 bucks for. Right off the bat probably get it cheaper than that but for insurance reason for police report they're calling it a thousand dollars in damage vandalism so I right, I get back to you we'll see what happens well security cameras didn't get anything but I uh see it or not got my 18 year old son give me a hand he's in there with a the shot back cleaning out the glass I'm gonna grab a grease gun and I'm gonna get underneath this truck. I'll see you then. Under here greasing, I find a major problem. That right there. What causes that? Up here, the biggest thing that causes that is usually potholes. The twenty thousand. This is a twenty thousand pound front axle. Most of the time, that is from potholes. This other side is fine, but the owner says he wants to order both springs, both sides, and get it done. So I'm going to continue greasing. But trucks down for a, down until we get new springs. Yeah, go ahead. All right, now I got this truck done. I close up the hood, stuff like that. I didn't find anything else. Let me say, yeah, that is not good. I gotta, I, I, I'm not, but the owner's gonna, owner of the truck here is gonna call Monday and about getting it in, getting it fixed. I did find, wind up telling him Need a new air filter, so we're gonna do that. But I'm gonna close up the hood. Truck staying in the shop, just cause of that window that got busted out of it. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday, so it is what it is. But I'm going to close this up, and then I gotta get that one and that one out around front. Gonna give them a well-deserved bath. So I'll see you in that one. All right, I got my son with me, and part of his high school, he could go through a program called JMG, Job Jobs for Maine Graduates, and he's got to do training, job shadowing, stuff, stuff like that, getting trained on, basically getting tr training of general trades and stuff like that. I am going to have him drive this machine out front. So yeah, just start it like you normally do. 
Okay, now. This one right here. That's a throttle. This one right here. Correct. It's forward or reverse. So, yeah. Take the parking brake off. It's on. It's on. That's on. You got, nope, there's a little ring on the bottom. You got to pick it up, pull it up. There you go. Now slide it back. All right. Now, nope. Lever, the lever closest to you. That's the up and down. Okay. Now, not the short one in the middle. Not the short one. Tall one, yeah. That one will tilt your mask back. Okay. Okay, good. Now, you force it too high. Bring them down. Now, this is these. This is hydraulic driven. Okay. All the motor, drive motors are hydraulic. It, it will be jerky if you're not. So just let it idle, back out, and just drive, go right down the side of the road, out front. Yeah. I barely moved it. Sorry, my wrong, my bad. Oh. I had just turned the parking brake on. I didn't set it last night, I thought I did. My mistake. Now, now try it. Back. Now try moving it. There you go. So I'll let him get out with that one. I'm going to jump on this one. Just like that. Keep going. Now try to set over. Line up with me a little bit better. Pull up over there a little bit. Set over. If it's sit, yeah. There you go. I'll pull up there a little bit. I gotta get this hood let hood open. I try to gonna clean under underneath. So yeah, come on back. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's good. Yeah. Okay, shut it off. Yeah, set the parking brake. Yeah. Set the forks down. Set. Yeah. Now take that small lever. Push it forward. Bring the forks all the way out. You can give it a little throttle. steal your key here to open this back panel because these have got locks on them so they don't fly open so there so that's the key for this machine even though they're all interchangeable but get in there all right now prop that hood open that rear hood oh my hood yeah, yeah yours on that one all dirty they both need to be cleaned prop rod right here oh it's like where is it yeah that goes up in that hole right there yep then we got this one here your rods right there Rod goes right there and it goes in there nope yep right up there all right i gotta go get the soap have you go grab the uh, pressure washer and we'll get a get cleaning If you don't turn the switch on,
gotta clean the windows, we dirtied them. One of the girls out here uh, this morning washed the windows. We're out here cleaning the equipment and got them dirty, so we're just gonna be nice and blast them off for them. We'll get this cleaned up here and put away we'll, and we'll be back. Well, that's it for today. Today was not a good day for the guy that owns this store. But the vandalism I found this morning and then that broken spring, I didn't tell you which axle it was on, but that was actually on the steer axle. So that truck is down. I put a do not, I put an out of service tag on it with my name on it. That truck cannot go back out on the road until I approve it. So that truck cannot be driven, it has to be towed to the shop to get those springs repaired. And then I have to go to that shop and sign off on it. Or I'll go, go over to that shop and grab it one night and bring it back over here for him. But that truck is not to be on the road until after I sign off on it because it is my name on that out of service tag. But with today, I had my boy with me. I was in a different uniform. <laughs> he's getting done with me. He did a job shadow with me. I mean, he's got his own full, not I say full time, but he's got his own job right now. And getting ready to take it to him. But part of his high school, one of his high school programs, as I said earlier, was he's got a job shadow someone. So he chose me. Why? I don't do just one thing as you see today. I do a bunch of different things. And probably you'll see him in the videos next week they get school vacation with that being said i'm gonna end it here stay safe and i'll see you in the next one anything you want to say bud